reference at normal speed, so let's slow it down ten times. Did you see it? Let's have another look. Up to here, although the camera angles are different, we can see that his backswing hasn't changed, his top of swing position is the same in both pictures. Oh wait. These positions are very different, his downswing is further advanced on the right than on the left. Let's go on a bit further. Oh, wow, he's already hit the ball on the right, but on the left, he's only a touch past halfway down, the club shaft is just a blur, but we can see that his wrists are still cocked. Whereas on the right they are fully released and the ball is already on its way, so that means his downswing on the right is quicker than the one on the left. So if his downswing is quicker, that means his clubhead speed at impact must be greater, right? Wrong. The one on the left is his tee shot on the ninth. And the one on the right is his tee shot on the thirteenth. The one on the ninth was straight down the middle and very long, remember? And the one on the thirteenth was way off to the right. Off the fairway and into the gallery in the trees. His slower downswing on the ninth hit the ball further as well as straighter. So the slower you swing, the further the ball goes. But how can that be? 